Okay, let's give section uh, 7.3 exercise 54 a shot. Um, here they tell us we have an ellipsoid. Um, uh, they say it's bounded by the graph uh, x over a squared plus y over b squared equals 1. Now, if you, you know, if you sink some numbers into that, uh, right, when um, if <coughs> x equals a or minus a, uh, y would have to be 0. And if y equals uh, b or minus b, uh, then x would have to be 0. And you get stuff in between, but you uh, end up with an ellipse like that. And they say, uh, show that the volume of the ellipsoid formed uh, when this region is revolved about the y-axis. Okay, so we're going to revolve it that way. Is 4 thirds pi uh, a squared b. And they say, what's the volume when revolved around the x-axis? Okay, so yeah, if we can do the y-axis, then we can probably do the x-axis. So if I want to revolve this thing around, um, what I could do is I guess I could just take this top region if I wanted to and uh, revolve that around and then double the answer. So that's one possibility. Uh, another would be to take this whole half over here on the right side and, and do that. Well, I think I'm going to um, just take this one quarter section here, uh, rotate it around, and um, multiply by two. Uh, you know, so we didn't really need to know anything about this section over here on the left. Um, okay, so um, if I'm going to do this, uh, I either need to use disks or um, uh, uh, sh shells. And, you know, given I have it in this form, it probably really doesn't matter much which one I use. Um, I think I would prefer the disk method. And the reason for the I want the disk method is um, by using the disk method, right, I have to use r squared. You know, it's pi r squared. And so um, the nice part is I've already got this sort of squared. So, so I can get, um, I need x, uh, or sorry, y as a function of x because that's going to be my height. Uh, y as a function of x? No, x is a function of y. Sorry, misspoke. Um, I need uh, my x as a function of y, so that if I know a particular y value up here, uh, then I'll know how far I went out in x. And so um, I can get that x squared over a squared is equal to 1 minus uh, y squared over b squared. And again, remember, I need, I'm going to need my x squared. Okay, so I'm just going to solve for x squared here and get uh, oops, x squared equals uh, a squared times 1 minus y squared over b squared. Okay, and my disks are going to go from 0 up to b up here. So, um, so I need to go from 0 to b. I have pi r squared. Uh, so that's just, uh, I'll bring out the a squared, uh, 1 minus y squared over b squared, like that, dy. So that should do it for me. Um, this is then uh, a squared pi. And when I do my antiderivatives, I get a y and a minus y cubed over 3b squared. Um, 
from zero to B. And when I uh, put that in there, I get uh, A squared pi uh, times um, one minus, uh, what is this, B cubed over B squared, so that's just a B over three. Um, whoops, B cubed, yeah, B over three, okay. So um, one minus uh, B, oh wait, one, why did I say one? You people have to yell out during the video and tell me I'm not putting things in. Um, I don't know why I said one, but I, I need B uh, when I put that in there, minus B. Uh, here I have B cubed over B squared, so that's B over three. And so uh, I get uh, A squared pi and then um, two B over three. So total I get, um, 2a squared b pi over 3. But remember, I had to double this thing, okay, because I just did the top half. And so that volume is 2 times uh, 2a squared b pi over 3. And so I get my 4a squared b pi over 3, which is uh, what they wanted. Now, they actually, they wrote it as, uh, what, four-thirds pi a squared b. Okay, so um, we got that for the volume. Now they say, well, what if you rotate it around the x-axis? Well, looking at the symmetry and so forth, I'm guessing uh, around x gives uh, four thirds, and I'll write it like they did, the uh, uh, pi and then uh, a b squared. That would be my guess. And so, um, to do that, right, so we had our ellipse. Um, I'm going to do the doubling thing again. Uh, we want to go around the x axis. And so, if I do that, I could do the disk method again. Uh, again, I, I like that because it squares the thing. And uh, we have, uh, for our height, uh, y squared uh, over b squared is equal to 1 minus um, x squared over a squared. And so again, multiply through by the b squared, and we will have, so this goes from 0 to a, uh, zero a, we have our pi here. Uh, again, we'll get a b squared out front like we had the a squared before. And then uh, I need one minus uh, x squared over a squared uh, dx. Now the same old thing, b squared pi. Um, and I get uh, x minus x cubed over a squared uh, from 0 to a. Um, when I put the a in there, I get my a minus, um, oops, forgot my 3, um, my a minus uh, a cubed here over a squared, so that's just an a over 3. And so I have my b squared pi a minus a over 3, which again is uh, 2 thirds a, so I have my 2 thirds um, a b squared pi uh, or pi a b squared. And uh, uh, again, I need to double that because I, I w only took this half here. And uh, um, so my volume in this case is 2 times my 2 thirds pi a b squared or four-thirds pi a b squared. Okay, so there we go, number 54. I'll put that back at the answer, right? Well, I was trying to go to the first answer, I guess, that one. 
And there we go.